guys, so today I'm going to go back to basics and I'm going to do a tutorial on all the basic braids. And basically there are four types of braids. There's a French braid, a fishtail braid, a Dutch braid and a lace braid. And once you learn these basic braiding techniques, you can do so many different braids and so many, you can come up with so many styles. So when I first started braiding, I couldn't do any braids. How I learned how to braid was I used to just tie my hair into a side pony and I'm going to do that now. Once I got used to doing the braids in a side pony, I then moved on to doing French and Dutch versions. So the first braid I'm going to do, I know a lot of you know already, but I'm just going to do it anyway because it's one of the basic braids and that's a tree strap. Do this, you want to divide your hair into three even pieces. And then you're just going to cross your outer strands over the middle piece. So I'm crossing the right strand over the middle, the left strand over the middle, the right strand over the middle, and the left strand over the middle. Right strand over the middle, and left strand over the middle. And there we have a basic three strand braid. So I'm going to move on to a French braid. So I'm going to do two versions of a French braid. I'm going to show you how to do a tight French braid and how to do a loose French braid. So you want to start off by taking a section of hair and you're going to, like a three strand braid, you're going to divide this into three even pieces. And you're going to cross the right strand over the middle and the left strand over the middle. French braid, you want to add a small section of hair to your outer strand. And then you want to cross this over to the middle. Then you're going to repeat this on the opposite side. Take a small section of hair, add this to your outer strand, and cross this over to the middle. There you have your first braided stitch. Again, I'm just going to add a small section of hair to my outer strand, cross this over to the middle. And then I'm going to go to the opposite side and again I'm just going to add a small section of hair to this and cross it over to the middle and it becomes our new middle strand. Basically you're just adding hair to your outer strands and you're just crossing them over to the middle and then they become the new middle strand. So I'm just bringing my outer strand to the middle and now it's the new middle strand. Cross your outer strand to the middle and now it becomes the new middle strand. Add a section of hair. Cross it over. Add a section of hair. Cross it over. Add a section of hair. Cross it over. And you just want to keep doing this the whole way down the braid. you've reached the nape of your neck, you just want to continue doing a normal three strand braid. So just bring your outer strands over the middle strand. There we have a tight French braid. Your 
just only prefer a loose French braid, you're going to do the same thing, except you're just going to take larger sections. I'm going to divide this into three even pieces. And now I'm just going to loosely add sections of hair to my braid to get a nice loose and soft French braid. So I'm just adding a section of hair to my outer strand and crossing this over to the middle. Add a section of hair to, your, to my outer strand. Cross this over to the middle. And then the section. Cross it over to the middle. you can see what I'm doing there in the mirror don't mind the mirror it's a bit dirty <laughs> um but I'm just shaking the strands so there we have a looser French braid if you like loose French braids and as I said all I did was just gently tug on the strands and then I kind of just shake them like this to get a nice loose braid So now I'm going to move on to a fishtail braid and I know a lot of you guys find this one a little difficult especially when you're doing a French fishtail version. Another trick if you find it hard to keep the strands separated is to damp your hair as you braid and you might find it a bit easier to keep the strands separated. So I'm going to move nice and close to you guys and show you how to do a French fishtail. And I'm sorry if I sound really loud because I'm just so close to the microphone. You're going to divide your hair in half like so and then on your right side you want to take a small section of hair like this and you're going to cross it over and add it to the opposite side. We're going to repeat this on the left side. Take a small section of hair, cross it over and you're going to add it to the right side. So you kind of have this X pattern. Take a small section of hair, cross it over and add it to your left side. And take a small section of hair from your left side, cross it over and add it to your right side. Take a small section of hair from your right side, cross it over and add it to your left side. And take a small section from the left side, cross it over and add it to the right side. Um, if you like, you could take bigger strands to cross them over if you find that easier. But I'm just going to keep taking little strands and I'm just going to cross them over to the opposite side. So I'm just going to stop talking now so uh, you guys can concentrate.
then you just want to tie it off and that's how we do a basic fishtail braid. If you want a fuller or messy French fishtail, you just want to go back and just gently tug on the edges of the braid and this will give you a nice messy fishtail braid. There you go. And there we have a fuller fishtail braid. Now I'm going to do the same technique in a French fishtail braid. I'm going to face you guys when I start it and then I'll turn around. Section of hair. Split it in half. Then you want to take a small so section from the right side and cross it over to the left. And take a small section from the left side and cross it over to the right. And there we have our X. Again, take a small section from the right. And if you like, you could do this again just to get used to the stitches before you add in here. So I'm just going to do it again. And take a small strand from the left and cross it over to the right. So now I'm going to start adding in here to make it a French fish shawl section and add it to my little piece. Cross it over to the opposite side. Again, take a small section from the left side, add a little bit of hair to this, and cross it over to the opposite side. Take a small section, add some hair to this, cross it over to the opposite side, and take a small section of hair, add some hair to this, and cross it over to the opposite side. Take a small section of hair from your left side, add a little bit of hair to this, and cross it over to the right side. Take a small section of hair, add a little bit of hair to this, and cross it over to the left side. Take a small section of hair from your left side, Add some hair to this and cross it over to the right side. Take a small section of hair, add some hair to this and cross it over to the left side. Take a small section of hair, add some hair to this and cross it over to the right side. And again, if you're finding it hard to keep your strands separated, you could dampen your hair before you braid. This will make it a bit easier. Take a small section of hair, add a little bit to this, and cross it over. How are you guys doing? I know this can be an arm workout, so if you like, you can just drop your arms for a minute and have a rest. And then just continue when you're ready. So again, just add a small section of hair to your right strand. And cross this over to the left. Take a small section from the left strand. Add a little bit of hair to this. And cross it over to the right strand. And yep, yeah, so I'm just going to continue braiding. I hope it's starting to look like a French fish tail. You can't really see what I'm doing. So I'm just adding hair to my little strand, crossing it over to create my X and adding it to the other side. Taking a small strand, 
adding hair to this and passing it over to the opposite side. Reaching the nape of my neck, so I'm just adding hair to the other pieces and crossing them over. Now I've added in all my hair, so I'm just going to continue doing a normal French fish tap. going to turn around to finish off the braid because it can be a bit of an arm workout. So I'm just going to do a spin so you can see it. Now I'm going to move on to a chunky one. So again, split your hair in half and cross a small section from the right strand over to the left and a small strand from the left side over to the right. We have our X. Now I'm going to start adding in hair to my little strand and I'm going to cross this over to the opposite side. Again, take a small section from your left side Grab some hair and cross it over to the right side. Take a small section of hair from the right side. Grab some hair, cross it over to the left side. Take a small section of hair from your left side. Grab some hair and cross it over to the right side. And it's probably going to look a bit like a French braid, but it's not, it's a fish tail. So just keep adding hair to your outer strands and just cross them over to the opposite side. And now I'm just going to add large sections over to the opposite side to keep it nice and chunky. And again, I'm just going to turn the braid around so that I can braid a bit easier. And I know I totally missed this piece of hair, so just ignore that. I'm just going to hide it in there. So I hope you found this tutorial useful guys and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more tutorials from me 
And I'd love to know which braid, which kind of braid is your favourite. Do you prefer tight braids or loose braids? And which braid do you prefer overall? If you like this little braid series, I'll leave a link up above. I don't know which side the eye is. And in there, I've got some tutorials on... I've got tutorials on how to do, like, heatless curls, uh, five ponytail, braided ponytail ideas, and other little tutorials. Yeah, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.